Welcome to Electron Online, and here's the next set of examples of how to deal with logarithms. In this case, we're going to kind of mix them up. And what we're trying to do here is simply solve for the unknown variable. So looking for the first one, they want us to evaluate y, and so they want us to take the log of base 5. That means putting it into an exponential form. So we take the base, we raise it to y, and that should equal the number 25. So the question here is, what should y equal so that when I raise 5 to that exponent, I get 25? And the answer here then would be y equals 2, because 5 to the second power equals 25. Over here, again, we take the base. The base is 2. We raise it to the uh, value right here, 8 power, and we get x. So in this case, x is simply 2 to the 8 power, and 2 to the 8 power would be 256. That means x equals 256. All right, on the next one, we take the base, always start with the base, raise it to the exponent 2, and we get 32. So what base to the second power gives us 32? And, hmm, I don't think I picked my numbers very well on this one because that would be a hard one to do without a calculator. So let me change that problem. So let me say, how about the log of 64 base b equals 2? And let's try that one. So we have the base b raised to the second power equals the number 64. And then you can see that, yes, b will have to be 8 because 8 squared is 64. So the answer there is b equals 8. And finally, we have this example right here. And uh, we start with the base, b. We raise it to the second power. And now we get, <coughs> excuse me, 4 over 9. So what number to the second power gives us 4 over 9? Well, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. That means the base should equal 2 over 3. And that is how you do these types of problems.